Hey y'all, it is September the 2nd, uh, 2018. Y'all, I'm doing a little bit of research um, currently, and I'm going to get back to you what I find. I don't think I'm going to find very much this time, but we're kind of in a holding pattern. We're sitting back and we're gathering and gathering. With that being said, I wanted to briefly discuss this article. I came across it. It's called this the South China Morning Post. I don't know if you ever heard of it. You know, it's something from China, I guess. I don't know. They wrote an article, and I don't know if it's very substantive at all. I don't know if we got to really discuss the article. I don't even know who's written by and stuff like that. Like, I don't know how legitimate this really is. But the article says this Israeli made $500 bulletproof bag was inspired by the Parkland Massacre. In cells in the U.S. are, are soaring. Right. I don't know. I never heard of this publication before, but they uh, they may or may not know that things like this, bulletproof like inserts and things for backpacks, that has already been a thing. That was a thing before this happened. Right. I just want to let y'all know that. I, I mean, I knew about it. People have known about this sort of stuff if you were in that kind of thing. You know, it's kind of a double-edged sword when you think about it because children can have bulletproof backpacks but technically so can the shooter and you know i mean it's a double-edged sword when you think about it honestly i opt for this on the side of safety and giving the children bulletproof backpacks why not go for it i think it's a good idea anyways they talk about it a little bit like it's brand new and it's not really brand new and then they do talk about nick cruz just a little bit I hear it, you know, and they, of course, they bring up the voices telling him to burn, kill, destroy. And so he obviously did it, right? Remember? So I just wanted to read this little bit of the article because it's not very, like I said, we're not going to go into the article. But I want you to read this, and I don't know how truthful or legitimate it is, but let's read this. Prosecutors are seeking the death penalty for him. <clears throat> in a trial that could begin at the end of next year. You know what I'm saying? So that might not dawn on some certain people. And I don't know how legitimate it is, this article written by South China Morning Post. But the thing is, how in the world would that be justice? How, how could anybody explain that to be justice? There's a situation where they're trying to say this no person murdered all sort of people. And meanwhile, it's going to take two years to even come to trial because so many, uh, so many people involved are uh, ignorant or maybe just incompetent or have no idea or maybe they're trying to um, slow the wheels of justice for whatever reason. Maybe they have a, a, an agenda, right? It, it doesn't matter. Either way, there is absolutely, positively no kind of justice, right? And they're showing, they've been showing that. It takes almost two full years to even get the trial going. And yet, and still, we still have to be bombarded with all this kind of messages and agendas and this and that. It's downright despicable what's going on, all right? It's right in front of our faces. This thing, we don't accept it because we've seen it and we're seeing it for what it is at this point. Most people accept it because that's the stuff they like. That's what they call justice. And meanwhile, we fundamentally disagree at this point. All right, so at this point, we're going to probably be collecting information, all sort of information. We've already collected way more than we need. We already have way more than we need to have enough questions to legitimately remove Nicholas Cruz from jail. He shouldn't even be in jail. It doesn't even make any sense right now. Because what is Nicholas Cruz going to possibly do? Is he going to go shoot up another school? No, probably not. He ain't even going to have a trial for two years. Stuff like this. Ain't nothing fair about this. It wasn't supposed to be fair. All right, since day one. He's gonna... Sorry about that. We're dealing with a fundamental difference right here. All right. And at this point, we're going to be in a holding pattern probably for a couple of years or whenever they feel like it. Whenever they get around to whatever it is called justice, they'll let us know and holler at us in a couple of years, and then we'll do this trial thing. But in the meantime, we've just been collecting more evidence than we even need. 
hand over fist, mountains of evidence. And that's what we're going to be doing. And we already won. Uh, and we're just going to continue to pretty much watch them make a mockery of everybody's time and patience. Anyways, it's September the 2nd, 2019. I'll holler at y'all just a little bit later. <laughs>